Hi, my name is Francis D'Souza. I'm a professor of chemistry at Wichita State University. Recently, we wrote a prospective article to the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters with my foreign collaborator, Professor Osama Ito from Japan. This article discusses about making donor acceptor nanohybrids based on single walled carbon nanotubes for energy harvesting applications. Our supramolecular self assembly protocols to form donor acceptor hybrids involve pi pi stacking, metal ligand axial coordination, ion pairing, cad and dipole interactions. Here, the donor and acceptors are formed without compromising the electronic structure of nanotubes and utilize them for photochemical applications. Our studies have shown that non-covalent attachment of stacking pi electron polycyclic compounds appended with desired pigments on the single wall carbon nanotube surface is a viable and versatile approach to generate donor acceptor nanohybrids. Each project involves multi-step synthesis to create receptor sites on the donor and acceptor moieties. Once made, the nanohybrids are characterized by spectroscopy, imaging and electrochemical methods. The energetics for electron transfer are calculated from these experimental data. Further, photo-induced electron and energy transfer in these nanostructured donor acceptor assemblies are studied using both steady state and time-resolved emission techniques. It is possible to achieve higher efficiency of the photo-induced processes, that is, photovoltaic or photocatalytic processes, by the selection of appropriately sized single wall carbon nanotubes. Now my collaborator, Professor Ito, is going to give additional highlights of our work. Hello, I'm Osamu Ito, Emeritus Professor of Tohoku University, Sendai, Japan. My contribution to this research project is to reveal the photo-induced electron transfer mechanism of these supramolecularly modified single-wall carbon nanotube. He is a collaborator, Dr. Atsura Sanda Mayaka. We start this project with Professor Francis Dozuza at Wichita University. In this study, we employed the time-resolved spectroscopy using these laser flash photolysis system. In the transient absorption spectra, this main peak is assigned to the phthalocyanin radical cation, giving a firm evidence for the child separation product. In this energy diagram, New aspect is that the homonym gap of the molecule is wider than the band gap of a single wall carbon nanotube. Therefore, the child separation rate depends on the diameter of a single wall carbon nanotube. Now, it is very important to use the diameter separated single wall carbon nanotube. All the mixture is black, the isolated single wall carbon nanotube shows very beautiful color. So, we can now escape from the black chemistry. Thank you. I would like to thank the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters for this opportunity and the funding agencies, National Science Foundation and State of Kansas EBSCO programs for funding our research. And finally, all of you for watching this video. Thank you.